Hi hey everyone, today I'm creating these cards using the Peekaboo You Boy uh, version of the 6x8 paper pad. It is by a company called Pebbles. The paper in this is absolutely gorgeous. I really, really love the colour combination. And I've decided to pair it up today with some really basic construction paper that is in my stash. I got this in a craft store. It is very, very cheap. I have picked four colours that I think go with the colour palette and I have picked two card sketches here from Jess Crafts and these are specifically designed for the 6x8 paper pads. The first thing I'm going to do is do a bit of math and so for card sketch number six this creates four cards so I was working out how many cards I would get if I use that sketch for every single piece of paper and it would be 144 cards, which is kind of crazy, even for me. So then I had a look at sketch number seven, and it only does two cards per page, which means for that one, it would only create 72 cards. Now, because of the designs on the paper, some of them suit the different card sketches. So for this first video, I'm actually going to work through sketch number seven, which does two cards per page and also relies on a three by four inch element. These pattern papers here that already have it designed are perfect. And then the other two that are kind of busier, the one with the little babies wrapped in a blanket and the other ones are the animals, they will make a perfect feature at the front of the cards. To make the rest of the card design really simple, I picked the pattern papers that are along the top tab of each of these three. So you can see I've got the dark green with the little babies in a blanket, I've got the check with the uh, cutter parts, and then I've got that mustard color with the animals. So I haven't had to match anything up, I've just used the pattern paper as it was designed and then matched them according to that. It makes it super, super simple and takes out some of the guesswork. You can see here I'm doing a little bit more math and all I'm going to do today is that one design, so card sketch seven, and I was trying to figure out how many cards that I was going to make from it and in the end I decided it doesn't really matter how many cards, I'll just start using up part of this paper pad using whatever designs I think will work well with the card sketch and then I'll do another project and another project. So I think it takes me three projects to use up all of this beautiful pattern paper. There's 36 sheets in 12 designs, so there's three of each. Earlier, I showed these four different colors that I had selected to partner with my project. And I have pre-cut my little triangles with one of the card designs. And now I'm trying to work out what backing panel color should I use? <laughs> that was a bit of a mouthful. Uh, I have the four options and I'm just trying to match up, you know, which one looks the best. And where possible, I was trying to pick one color and then I would do that for each of the cards because that meant it was just going to be simpler when I was you know, gluing everything together. So for these ones, it looks like I've picked some of the mustard and some of the brown, which is fantastic. And I'm piling everything up on top of the color of the backing panel because that will help me remember later the decisions that I've made during the planning process. This one is the little babies in the little wrap blankets and these are super cute and I love that there's lots of diversity in the images which is amazing as well. So here I have decided very quickly that the mustard doesn't work, the greens compete, the brown probably isn't the best so I've picked what I would call kind of this stone color. It's a bit of a bit of a cool gray. I'm now adding the mustard color and you can see straight away that this does not match very well on top of the mustard, it just completely disappears. Um, and I'm just laying them all out just to triple check which ones I think would work well. So I quickly get rid of the middle two. It's not gonna work with the green and it's not gonna work with the mustard. Those two greens are not even remotely close. So again, I end up with the stone color. So there was quite a few of these ones that have the basic stone. I'm now starting to create the cards themselves and I really do love these card sketches with the triangles. I think Jess has done an amazing job trying to create some card sketches that are a little bit unique and I certainly do appreciate using them uh, to create some of my cards that I donate. So I'm just adding these couple of triangles on here and the reason I picked this paper pad is because I did have someone request to do baby cards 
But the thing is, I don't use baby cards very often and I don't have some really great places to donate them. So if you have any ideas on where I could donate baby cards, then please let me know and maybe I'll make some more of them. But for these designs here, where they were clearly intended to be for scrapbooking for children and, and new arrivals or maybe for card makers, I have created a sentiment or chosen a sentiment that says, welcome little one. Uh, but then for some of the others, like the ones just there with the animals, you'll see what I do with those shortly, but I do not turn everything into a baby card today. I choose whatever I think would suit the card design and match up with how I use my cards and how I donate my cards to others. If you're enjoying the video, it would be great if you could hit the like button. That is how YouTube knows to spread it to more viewers. I'm also trying to get to 2000 subscribers by the end of the year. So if you haven't subscribed and are interested, it would be great if you could do that and then hit the notification bell. I have also put in the description below a link to Jess's site where uh, you can take a look at the different sketches she has. There's loads of different ones to choose from. Apologies for my voice. I seem to have a cold and it keeps going very, very croaky. So I apologize if that's really difficult to listen to, but it is just not recovering. And I really wanted to get some of these videos out, especially because we're moving into the holiday season. So here I am just finishing these ones up. I don't show you everything in the video. So the, the cards that I talk about there with the zoo animals, I don't put those together, but I will show you what I ended up adding for a sentiment on those shortly. In the meantime, here's a closer look at this paper. So, so cute. So, so cute. I did have these welcome little one uh, sentiments in my stash. I've had them there for quite a while and they worked out just perfect. When I'm adding them to the paper here, what I'm doing is I'm trying to make sure that I actually cover up the heads of the babies. So I'm not putting every single one in exactly the same spot. I'm trying to put it in a spot where it makes sense to not cut off an awkward part of the paper design. So here are the animal cards with the happy birthday. They look super, super cute. I've also put a link here to a playlist for cards using card sketches. Have a great day.